Hi, I'm John with Venture Medical, and I'm going to show you how you're going to receive your Zeiss Opni 1 uh, S1 scope and how to put the head assembly back on the scope once you receive it. We don't ship the microscope with the head assembly because it's too dangerous and to get hurt too easily in shipping. So here's what you're going to, you're going to need to do. With the help of a friend, if you could have someone help you hold down the arm level and secure it. It's spring-loaded. It'll come up real quickly if it's not. Uh, if it's not secured by someone else. And you're going to need both your hands doing this, so you can't be holding this down and trying to put the head on at the same time. Chances are you're going to drop the head, and it's going to cost a lot of money to get that repaired. So if you have someone hold it for you, this is how you'll receive it. You'll have this locking knob um, will be here. You need to loosen that up. You can actually look down inside until the point of it isn't, isn't in the way of the, the channel anymore. So you just kind of loosen it off where you can't see it anymore. All right, and right here you're going to have a set screw as well. Now this is already going to be loosened off, but you're going to need to know where that set screw is later because that helps secure the head to this arm. So then you're going to take your head and you're going to receive this in a separate box um, for safety. Now be very careful with the head, hold it very securely because um, if it falls, we all know how expensive these scopes are. This is a locking cap on the top of the scope head. I need you to remove this, so unscrew it, counterclockwise of course. All right, you just set it to the side. Okay. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to take this shaft and you're going to put it through here until it comes out the other side. You hear it lock in place. You can see the threads and everything right here. Take your locking cap and go ahead and screw that back down on tight. This is going to secure the head to the arm Okay, now you want to take a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, and this is where your set screw is. Right? You want to tighten the set screw down. This is going to keep, this is a secondary, um, a secondary uh, screw in order to make sure that the, the head doesn't fall off. So you just tighten that up until it's snug. There's a channel on the shaft and you want to make sure it touches and you'll feel it. It stops moving. And then just give it a little bit of a twist. You don't want to ever over tighten it, but just until it touches. You'll feel it touch, give it a little twist more to make sure it's nice and tight, and that's it. All right? Then you can, now that the head's counterbalanced, you see that he can let go and the spring is, is acting like it should. You can lift it back up. Make sure this is very tight at the top. This is your most important locking mechanism. And this is a friction knob. You screw it down to adjust the friction, how easily it turns left and right. You put it down tight. See, I can't move it. You loosen it up, then it moves. You just got to do that to your preference. Fiber optic light cable. Drape that up. Place it inside of your 150 light source and tighten down the securing screw on top. And then this is the other end of your fiber light cable. You want to put that into here. It'll lock in place and you are ready to operate. Thank you.